I've been repairing clocks now for 40 years and over that time I've repaired hundreds of Elliott clocks. I particularly like repairing Elliott clocks because of their fantastic quality. Over the years I've built up quite a stock of spares for Elliott clocks and now with the team we've become specialists in Elliott's and we really enjoy working on them. We've had this clock come in for overhaul and we've had a, a look at it and, it and actually when we opened up the door we could see immediately that it was desperate for an overhaul. It hasn't been overhauled for well over 20 years and that's probably one of the problems with Elliott clocks is they just do carry on and on and on without an overhaul and, and really you should have one done every eight to ten years to keep it in really good order. This is a balance from an Elliott timepiece. You've got the hairspring, which is the little tiny spring on the top, then the balance, the part I'm holding, and then the roller, the little jewel in it, which moves the lever backwards and forwards, and then the shaft all the way through the middle of all three. The pivot's broken on this staff, so I'm having to make a new staff and then fit all the bits to it. This mechanism was produced in 1961. In fact, I've got the original sales receipt. Uh, Elliot eight-day chiming clock for 30 pounds. It was quite a lot of money then. Although it was built in 1961, this mechanism was still used right into the 90s when Elliot folded. And that's probably the reason why they did fold, is because they produce such fantastic quality. And the cost of producing quality was massive. And to compete with the cheaper movements was impossible. The staff's turned out of blue steel, which is steel that's been hardened and tempered. And it is very hard. The only way really to turn it satisfactorily is by hand, with a hand graver. Conventional lathe, you wouldn't touch it, you'd blunt the tool. When I take a mechanism out of the clock, I do a cursory look and check and see if there's anything obviously major wrong with it. And uh, found what I expected to, to see, and that is a build-up of dirt, uh, not only in the bearings, but also around the actual teeth of the wheels. That will act as a grinding place, and as soon as you get anywhere of the teeth, then you're in trouble, really, because they either need reshaping or renewing. Um, that can be quite a costly business. The other reason to have them overhauled on a regular basis is to clean this unit here. Now this is called a platform escapement and this is very akin to um, a watch mechanism. And this does accumulate dust and dirt inside there and what actually happens is that the pivots, especially on the balance, can drill holes in the jewels if they're, if they're dirty. So if they're clean and oiled, they, they won't actually wear. Part where the roller sits measures half a mil. There's the diameter of the pivot. It's very small. You need to stone them. The next step is to start taking it apart, stripping it down. We'll also take the main springs out, check that they're not starting to break or rip at the end, which they sometimes do. And we will then clean, polish, and put it back together again. I'm just checking the diameter that fits the jewel for the staff. And that goes in the hole very nicely. This is an ex Ministry of Defence clock. Alex used to produce most of their clocks especially around from 1930s and onwards. And uh, they used to produce some fantastic quality pieces. They're quite undervalued really, but it's, if you know what they are, they're well worth 
snapping up if you ever see one at a car boot sale or what have you. They've got fantastic quality fuse movements and they're brilliant timekeepers and they will just last years and years because the tooth form is absolutely bang on. It's so accurate and correct. It's fantastic. Elliot clocks are very good quality and they were certainly built to last. Everything fits nicely. They're one of the better quality clocks that we work on. But they do need maintaining regularly. Elliot clocks were quite often given as retirement gifts and because of that they've been looked after. People bring them in to me um, wondering if they're worth anything and I explained to them that actually they were very expensive clocks in their time and good quality and really worth looking after because they are a clock that can be handed on down through the generations and they will be a future antique.